Hello Flight Simmers and welcome back to Alpha Hotel Flight Simulator Training. One of the achievements you can earn in Microsoft Flight Simulator is the World Traveler Achievement which requires you to successfully land at 500 different airports. And with the Game of the Year update, there is a little trick you can use to earn this achievement in a much shorter time than it would take you to fly the pattern or take a cross country to 500 different airports. Let's take a look. So the first step is to find an airport that you haven't done a landing at. And many of you may be seeing, well, I don't know what airports I have landed at and which ones I haven't. And you can actually use your logbook to check for this. So I'll go from the welcome screen up to the uh, profile screen and down to my logbook. And you'll notice at the top of the logbook, there is a search function. You can see your recent entries over here and people have noted that the logbook isn't accurate. A lot of times you have double entries for a single flight, that is true, uh, but it can tell you where you have and haven't landed. Uh, so I'll search for Pine Bluff. The identifier there is KPBF. I've operated a lot out of there. And if I put that in there, it turns back to all the airports. Uh, all the times I've ever flown in and out of Pine Bluff. So you can see there, I've been there quite a bit. Let's try an airport that I haven't been to much. I'll try Shreveport, which is a Kilo Sierra Hotel Victor. And I can see that I have only been there twice, uh, but I have had landings there. And let's try an airport I don't think I've been to. We'll try Batesville, Arkansas, which is Kilo Bravo Victor X-Ray. And indeed, I don't have a logged landing at that airport. It doesn't appear in my logbook at any time. So that's someplace I can go and get a new landing that will count towards my 500 different airports. One little caveat with this technique, though, is that if you've done a multi-leg cross country where you've stopped at multiple airports uh, in the same cross country, uh, it will not count the intermediate stop. So you can't look those up. So hopefully you have a good memory if you've ever done a flight like that of where have you landed. But otherwise, you can use the log book to go in and see where you've been and where you haven't. Once I do that, I'm going to go into the world map and I'm going to pick that airport. So I'm going to go to Batesville, Arkansas, KBVX. Really doesn't matter what uh, runway you use. We'll stick with runway 26. And then for the airport, we'll, uh, or excuse me, for the aircraft, we'll select the Volocopter, Volo City. Uh, I think some of you see where we're going here. Uh, not much of the rest of this really matters as far as uh, weather conditions and all that. So we will go ahead and click on fly and get going. All right, so here I am in uh, at Batesville on runway 26, and all I have to do to get this landing is I'm going to bring the throttles up. I can see my uh, RPM indicators right over here. So I will bring that up just a little past halfway, lift a little bit off the ground, then reduce the throttle. Come on back down. Boom. That's a landing. Believe it or not, that will count as a landing at a different airport for you. Took me all of 10 seconds. Uh, so then we just go out into the uh, menu and take a look at our log and see if it logged that landing. And to check my landing count, what I want to do is go into profile and then go into pilot profile on the left hand side here. And then I want statistics on the left hand side. And then I scroll about halfway down and it says number of different airports landed at. Previously, this was at 277 excuse me, 276, now it's at 277. So that quick little 10 second flight counted as one of my landings. And your next step is to repeat this as uh, many times as you need to, to get to 500. Of course, part of the fun of Flight Simulator is exploring the amazing virtual world that's been created for the game. So I definitely encourage you to log as many landings in the traditional way as you can. But if you just wanna go for all the medals, this is a quick way to get this particular achievement. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well. My primary focus on the channel is to create high quality training videos for Flight Simulator. The focus thus far on the channel has been private pilot level basic flying skills, but I also have some videos focused on some of the avionics in the game, like the Garmin 530, and a few other aspects of flying or Flight Simulator. As I move forward with the channel, I'll be focusing on instrument flying skills, aircraft checkouts, more avionics tutorials, and more advanced flying skills. If any of that interests you, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.